I can't eat. Sure you want to know? I don't think we're going to get to eat together like this anymore. To be honest, something's been on my mind. I saw a magazine in any reason. Guess what it was called? How'd you guess? Man, you're amazing. When I saw that magazine, it got me thinking. And I've made up my mind, man. As soon as I graduate high school, I'm gonna marry Emmy. You think that's a good plan? Thanks, dude. I'm seriously in love with Emmy and I'm gonna marry her. Then, Emery Kano will be known as Emery Tomochika, and I will make her the happiest wife ever. <laughs> Sorry, I just want you to back me up, you know? We should get going. I wonder how many more times I'll get to walk home with you like this. to make chicken saute today, but I might have bought too much. I think my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I always end up having leftovers. What about you? Would you say you're a big eater? Come on, you're worried before I even make it? I'm sure it helps if it tastes good, but don't set your expectations too high. Mmm... Let me just apologize in advance. Well, either way, it'll be packed full of nutrients, so don't worry about that. They say your health is your most valuable asset, you know? I figured we should think about what we're putting into our bodies. And if I could lose some weight while we're at it, I'd kill two birds with one stone. But let's put that aside for now. Anyway, why don't we start with veggies? Can you cut the tomatoes for me? Uh, I chose breast meat because it was cheap and I heard it's good for a diet, but it's kind of dry. Okay, very dry. I can barely chew through it. And that was unexpected. I don't usually mess up this kind of thing. Hey, you're doubting me, aren't you? I'm serious. I'll make up for it next time. So let's cook together again when you get the chance. It'll be so delicious, you can't help saying yum. Let's get on with today's lesson.
okay then. so much time to train here, so you have to practice on your own if you want to win. Yeah, we can do that. Good. And don't forget, know your limits and make sure you stretch properly. Oh, why don't you give them some advice, too? Yeah, but don't forget to stay focused till the end. Now listen, no matter what, Think positive and don't give in to fear. Those kids are going to challenge the sixth grader soon. Apparently, the winners will get to use the schoolyard. Earlier, they asked me to write the challenge letter for them. A little worried, actually. Well, not just about the race, but also about whether or not I spelled something wrong. So, what's your honest opinion? Age difference really matters when you're as young as they are. Do you really think they can beat the sixth graders? Yeah, you're right. A coach has to believe in her team. And they've all trained so hard, too. They'll be fine, right? After all, they learned from us. Oh, then why am I feeling so nervous? It's gonna be okay. I'm sure they can win. Come to think of it, I should have asked you to write the challenge letter. I probably should have used bigger words. Ugh, I'll be so embarrassed if those sixth graders laugh at it. Leftovers, we can keep them in the fridge. But we're cooking for two today. There probably won't be leftovers. Oh, I forgot to mention, but I'm making katsudon. Make sure to eat it all, no matter how it tastes. I 
I said I'd thank you, didn't I? If you don't want it, I could put the meat away. But that's a pain, so just eat it. All right then, time to get started. The rice is already cooked, so just scoop everything into a bowl once it's ready. I like extra large portions, by the way. Looks like you're a fan, huh? Uh, anyone can make this, as long as they practice. Today we just have the rice and toppings. But you could add side dishes too. Well, give it a try when you have time. All right, I did my part to thank you. You handle the cleanup. See you around. I'm going to do it! Good, good! Not bad, kid! Thank you. 
What? Still carrying that thing around. Hmm. Looks like you're not just playing errand boy this time. Sorry, but I'm not going back to school. Since it's you, I guess I'll say it. I ain't gonna live much longer. I'm getting by on meds right now, but that won't last forever. This is probably the part where I ask God for a miracle, but that's never worked for me. This is my body we're talking about. I know it better than anyone, and I know there's nothing I can do. Here you go! Two specials! Eat up. The noodles are getting soggy. I know it seems like I wasted your time, but it's the good memories that stay with you and get people through their struggles. But it's also the mistakes you made that haunt you forever. I gotta use what time I have left to set things straight. I don't have the luxury of doing anything else. Ugh. Damn, you really don't mince your words, do you? But you know, that ain't so bad. It's way more refreshing than having someone keep quiet because they're scared of hurting my feelings. That's gotta be why they depend on you so much. Aki and Kirijo are fighting with way more confidence than they had two years ago. Yeah, you're just something special. But look, if you got time to waste on me, then go spend it on someone else. Like Amada. He's still just a kid. He's way in over his head. I'm still gonna do whatever I can to help. But after that... I'm counting on you. I'll hold on to this. Yeah. I should have been the one to hand it in. Sorry I put that on you. You can head on outside. I'm paying today. on the counter. Thanks! Come again! Suggestion. All right. Hmm. Are you stupid or something?
You're late. I was just thinking about leaving. You've been coming here a lot too, huh? Are uh, you all right, kid? You know, financially, paying for the drinks here? High school kids don't have much money, do they? At least, I never gave much to my son. Do you now? <laughs> Guess you kids have ways to make money these days. You're not doing anything illegal, though. Are you, kid? <laughs> not that I care. By the way, let me ask you. Is there anything you want right now? And I mean something you can buy with money, not some crap like love or a sense of humor. <laughs> that was a stupid question, I should have guessed. Materialistic desire can lead to aspiration. Still. When you get to be my age... Well... Try thinking about it this way. You work to make money so you can have a better life. But to make enough money, you gotta work all the time. So you never get to enjoy that better life you're working so hard to have. Quite a paradox, isn't it? Do you know what the average lifetime income of a white-collar worker is? Including a retirement fund and an annual pension. It's 250 million yen. That's not even close to a lottery jackpot. Thanks to me, you learned something new today, eh, kid? Now, don't waste your life working all the time trying to get rich. Just take life as it comes. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but there's only one more week until the full moon. I hope nothing serious happens. But you can never be sure what the future holds. Be careful out there, okay? Remember, I'm always looking out for you. We'll meet again. 